I'll make sure the light is on by pressing the power button for a few seconds. Also, make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone. Then I'll tap the Citus Link app on my phone to launch it. The first thing that you want to do is create a scene. So I'll tap plus on the top right of the app screen. Then I will tap the scene to get into it. Next, I'll tap the plus button to add this light to it. You'll notice that the app found the light. So I can just select it and then press Setup. After a few seconds, tap OK. Now we have this basic screen that allows us to turn the light on and off and use a slider to adjust the brightness or intensity of the light from 0 to 100. For far more control, tap B7C under Fixtures. The first screen that comes up is called White and you can see that we are on the CCT tab. Again, we can turn the light on and off. We can adjust the intensity with the slider. In addition, we can select quarter, half or full intensity. I'll keep the intensity low with the slider for now. We can also adjust the color temperature of the light with a slider. In CCT mode, this light goes from a very warm 2000K all the way up to a very cool 10,000K. We also have a few preset buttons below that. 3200K, 4000K, and 5600K. There's also a green magenta adjustment if you need it. At the top of the app screen, I can select Gel. We are in the CTO B tab. This screen is great for people who are used to working with blue and orange gels. You can choose if the light is tungsten or daylight, and then add gels on top of that. Basically, the light changes color as if it was gelled without actually using gels. For example, we can add 1 8 of CTB, color temperature blue. I'll change that to without CTB. If I tap color at the top of the app screen, we access a lot of additional controls. In the HSI tab, we get a color wheel that we can move around on to pick different RGB colors. The outside of the wheel is very saturated. Selections closer to the middle of the wheel are less saturated. I like using the more saturated colors, but that's up to you, of course. If I select the Picker tab, I can actually use my phone's camera to shoot a color of an object that the light will then mimic. Watch what happens when I select my son's green turtle pillow. The light turns green. Pretty cool. You could use this to match other odd light sources. If I select Effect at the top of the app screen, I can run a bunch of lighting effects. The first effect is Fireworks. If I tap Start, the fireworks effect will begin. We can adjust the effect using the intensity control. This is how bright the light gets. We also have a frequency control if we want the effect to happen more often. Next, we can swipe to the faulty bulb effect. Don't forget to tap start to begin the effect. We can slide over to the lightning effect, then tap start. Next we have TV, then tap Start. We have Warmer, Natural, and Cooler TV presets. We also have an Intensity Control and a Frequency Control. It's very customizable. The next effect is called Pulsing. Don't forget to tap Start to begin the effect. If we tap HSI, we can change the color. I like selecting red and then I'll tap confirm. That would be a richer red if I turned my additional room light off and brought my camera's exposure down. Just keep that in mind when judging these effects. If we want to save any of these modified effects, just tap presets at the bottom of the screen, then tap save to presets. There you go, we have our customized red pulsing preset. I'll tap X to exit the screen. The next effect is fire. 
Don't forget to tap Start to begin the effect. Then we have Cop Car. Next we have Party Lights. We can set saturation very high and change the frequency to change colors more often. Finally, we have the paparazzi effect. This app does a lot more, but I think that's enough to get you started. It's pretty impressive. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.